Hi everybody, I'm Mickey Martin, and I'm going to teach you the first part, part one, of three parts of How to Play Classico by Tenacious D. Now the first part's a finger picking part, so you're going to have to either put your pick in your middle finger, like this, so that you can transition it easily and play for part two, which you will need a pick for, or you can put it in your mouth so you can grab it pretty easily. All right, so we're in E standard tuning, and I'm gonna show you right now what I'm gonna teach you. All right, so that's part one. Now, let's start from the beginning. So we're gonna be playing the low and high E strings at the same time. So the first note is the third fret on the low E string and open on the high E string. And the second note, you're going to bar the whole second fret and you're going to play just the both E strings. So second fret on both the high and low E string. So, and the next note is open low, low E string and third fret high E string. So right now we have Next, you're going to put your pointer finger, your first finger on the second fret of the high E string and pull off to open on the high E string. So it should sound like this. Now the next note is going to be the A and the B strings. We're going to play the 2nd fret on the A string, which is your 2nd string. And we're going to play the 4th fret on the B string, which is your 5th string. So it should sound... Next, we're going to go open, high E string, hammer on to the 2nd fret of the high E string. That is the next note. It's going to be 3rd fret low E string and open B string. Next, we're going to bar the whole 2nd fret again and we're going to play only the low E string and the B string. And from there, we're going to hammer on with either your pinky or your ring finger, whichever one's more comfortable. I use my pinky hammer on to the 4th fret of the B string. And then after that is just open low and high E strings. So from, that, from where we are, it should sound like this. Alright, now the next part gets a little bit more tricky. You're going, it's going to be more rapid chord changes and your fingers might get jumbled up at first, but just keep practicing and you'll sure to get it. So let me play this. Those three chords. That's the next part. It's going to be the A string and the B string. 2nd fret on the A string and 3rd fret on the B string is your 1st chord. Your 2nd chord is open A string and 1st fret B string. And then your 3rd chord is 3rd fret low E string and open B string. So those three chords. All right, so next we're going to put our pointer finger, first finger, 
on the second fret of the G string, second fret, and pull off open. And now we have more rapid chord changes. It's going to sound... Now I think this is the most tricky part of the whole opening, so you're going to have to practice it. So we have our pull off from the second open on the G string, and then second fret low E string, and fourth fret D string is your first chord. And now you're going to do the opposite, you're going to hammer on from open to second fret on the G string. So it should be. Your next chord is second fret A string and third fret G string. And now you're gonna hammer, you're gonna pull off from the second fret to open again. So from here it should sound, and then 2nd fret low E string, and 4th fret D string, and your last note is open E, open low E, and 2nd fret D. So that whole section should sound like this. Alright, that's part one. Let me play for you what I just taught you. Now, look for my other videos. Part 2 will be posted.